I'm just going to put Sora-chan over here. And her facial expression says absolutely everything there is to say about this article. I I'm sorry, look, AAA Studios just cannot compete. Like, they are disconnected from reality and they require an army of journalists to try and gaslight us that this character is the most handsome woman in gaming. Okay. Uh, as game become more realistic... Uh, by the way, the graphics from Baldur's Gate... Um, I wouldn't consider it more realistic than the graphics from Dragon Age. And Dragon Age is a game which came out a decade ago. And Morrigan is by far better than this character by any metric. Like, look, we, how, how can we judge it, right? Because they will say, well, it's subjective. Okay, well, if it's subjective, how can you make the claim, right? So either beauty is subjective, that this article shouldn't exist, and this journalist is dumb for even attempting to say that is the most beautiful, because it's subjective, like, no one can know. Or there are objective standards of beauty, and then, uh, I don't know, we can do polling, uh, we can look based on popularity, uh, based on how many memes there are, based on how much people talk about these characters, uh, usually, the way you know it's a great character is when 10 years have passed and people can still name the character. Like, people can still name Talizor Abbas Normandy. Uh, people will be able to name Sora-chan, I guarantee to you. 10 years from now, you will see it, it will happen. I don't even know what this chick is called. I mean, I, I know she's in the game. I, I, I do understand her story. She's like the, the nice one, but apparently it's Day Malin. Okay, fine. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Um, we're going to talk about her in a bit. I mean, she's not a bad character, but to make the claim that it is the most handsome woman, it's like, okay, well, we, we have nothing to discuss. Literally, we have nothing to discuss. This is like claiming Beavis from Beavis and Butthead is the most handsome man. I mean, you can make the claim, but people are going to laugh at you. So, uh, beaut our beauty standards, lovely. Like, me being in the same pot with a video game journalist is the most offensive stuff ever. Like, when a video game journalist says our, as if I'm in a relationship with him, uh, as we served in the military together, as, as if there is absolutely anything to do between me and them is, is bewildering, right? Our beauty standards. Like, dude, you should see my wife, okay? Shut the fuck up. Like, my beauty standards are far superior than yours. But by any metric, by any imagination, in fact, I would say I have standards you have none. Jesus fucking Christ, our beauty standards can broaden. No, they can't. Like, I'm sorry, if you have standards, you don't lower them. You know, I like that pretty lady from high school, the one with big tits that you were in her DMs and she would never want to date you. Why? Because she had standards. And no matter how many times you wrote articles and tried to convince her that she should broaden her beauty standards, she would tell you to fuck. I'm like that. I'm like that girl, okay? I got beauty standards. Jesus. Okay, so uh, beauty is subjective. Okay, if beauty is subjective, then why are you making this article? I mean, obviously, you know, it's subjective. So some people may like her, some not. It just so happens that overwhelmingly, almost every single gamer on Earth would prefer Morgan from Dragon Age. Uh, or they would prefer Sora from my video game. Or they would prefer literally any other woman but this. Although beauty is subjective, so we can't tell, you know. It's, it's the developers. I mean, they had no idea when they created this character that is not going to be as popular as... Tomb Raider, right? Like Zara Kraft. They, they had no clue that it's not going to be as popular as Uzaki Chan. Because beauty is subjective. Like, you, you just can't tell. Right? Next time, uh, they may cast, like, a grandmother that's 85. And, uh, you know, like, maybe some people will love it. I mean, maybe she's going to be incredibly popular because it's subjective. We, we just cannot tell. It's, it's impossible to tell or predict uh, if the players will like it. Because, right? That, that's what it means. How, how can you do it? Beauty competition should also not exist. By what metric can you say? Uh, you put me next to two pictures of Anna Darmas and uh, Margot Robbie and nobody's choosing me. Between those two, you'd be looking pretty even split. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to let you on a little secret. Every week I get dozen emails from casino websites who have done research to tell me which video game character is the most popular in Texas. I, I doubt the fact that Video game journalists get any email besides spam uh, due to the fact that no one is reading this garbage. Except YouTubers, like myself. But other than that, like, when you start articles like this, I, 
I don't think everyone is uh, interested. Uh, sorry, I don't think anyone is interested in them. Uh, but I don't know uh, what any side that actually runs this research. Yeah, th there is no side that runs research. Okay. Uh, first of all, it's something that progressives absolutely lack, which is common sense. Like I, I, you know, my wife can look at a man and she can say, yeah, this guy is handsome, even though beauty is subjective. I don't know how the fuck she does it. But when she says like this man is handsome, other women agree. I have the same superpower as well. Like I can look at a character and I can say, yes, this character is beautiful. And people just happen to agree with me. But, but I know like either than that, there's no objectivity. There. Uh, but secondly, you get to see memes. You get to see people talking about it. There's buzz, right? Like, when something genuinely happens to be a good character, like, for example, um, the clown lady from Digital Circus, I forgot her name, Pomni, Pomni, right? Pomni is a popular character. Is there a website that runs research? No, but how do I know? Because everyone is fucking talking about it. You go on Twitter, it's trending. You go on Discord, random people talk about it. Nobody's talking about this chick. Right? And, and then they go on and they talk about, oh, well, she's not a damsel in distress. No, she's literally a man. Like, she can be replaced with a male character by the time B, so I can say it in a word that the game journalists understand what I'm talking about, right? Uh, she can be replaced by Thor, for instance, and nothing changes. It's genuinely... Probably it would actually make for a better character because she is oozing with toxic masculinity. There is no femininity about her. There is no sensuality about this character. And this is actually worse than the scars that she has on her face. So if you actually play the game, I found her to be the most cringe character ever. When she gets to speak, she is like, leave me alone. I must lust over my girlfriend. Like she, she literally says something like that. It's like, I want, I want to admire the body of my girlfriend. And I'm like, okay, if you are a guy and that came out of your mouth, that would be cringe as fuck. And it's not less cringe because you're a female character. It's literally the same. Incredibly cringe writing. Um, I actually do know women that are lesbians. They do not talk like this. Men do not talk like this. It was just the most icky thing ever. You know, like, like, like she's just oozing with, with, with lust and desire. And, and this is like the first thing that she says after you rescue her. So it's like, okay, fine. Um, she's hyper violent. Like all, all, all she does is violent. And actually the journalist uh, even says, oh, well, you know, like she's no damsel in distress. She's not, she doesn't have motherly love. And it's like, yeah, she's bland. Literally every single female trope that has been written within the last five years. This is the only thing that Sweet Baby and companies like that can write. Like, you do not understand the overwhelming human experience. It's fine if one character acts like this. You know, like, you can have your masculine female character. That's fine. But when almost all of them are, and it's like, you do not have different archetypes. Like, it's the only thing that you need, you know how to make. And, and then they go pick at your face when Shadowheart seems to be... Uh, the, the only female companion that uh, has memes and has people talking about. Because all the other female characters are shit. Compare this to Wrath of the Righteous, which has like so many waifus. In fact, it's so weird to see so many waifus in a video game that doesn't have anime. Compare it to Neverwinter Nights. Compare it to Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic, back when people actually knew what the player wants and actually knew how to write compelling characters. Like, I'm sorry, this doesn't even compete. This is, like, the biggest meh that I have ever seen. And, the, I, I mean, there's no... Can you even romance her? I don't think you can romance her in the game, right? Because she has a girlfriend. I haven't even seen people asking for the romance to be possible. So, I, I genuinely do not understand, uh, you know, who writes these articles. I guess this journalist, right? Okay, you know, like, I, I, good for you. I, I guess this is like a character that you like, but stop imposing it on the rest of the public. You, you cannot force beauty standards. You know, the cock has a mind of its own. It's like a friendly compass. You know, it, it points towards people that I want as friends. It doesn't point me towards her. There, there's nothing that she has that I like. And by the way, you know, the scars are just the added features. It's like, okay, she, she's got scars. Scars are objectively not beautiful. On women, by the way. Like, like, objectively speaking, women with cars, they tend to hide them. 
it happens, you know, like anyone can have a scar. You can get burned, you can have like various uh, accidents, and you can get a scar, right? But most women that have a scar, in fact, all of them that I know, they, they cover the scars. Because they're not pretty, objectively. Oh, beauty is subjective. No, no, it's not. It's not. There are objective standards. Symmetry, for example, not having scars, right? <laughs> Morbid obesity lowers it. So it is what it is. You know, like, again, if if this journalist is happy with this character and, and wants to romance her and, and have a waifu, perfect. But the problem is, it's, uh, why can't we have a character that we like, right? Where, where is Soracha? Where, where is the equivalent of Soracha? Why don't we get Morrigans? Why, why are they so selfish, these journalists? Why are they so greedy? Why do they covet everything? Why, why is it that everything needs to be for them? But we have to also pay the price for the game. Let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.